colossal failure. Anyway, like Mike Latner's story starts like many others. I was laid off on the 20th of March. For weeks, the Citrus County restaurant worker wrestled with Florida's unemployment site, logging on, getting kicked off, filing a claim, having it deleted, refiling, and despite holding the same job for almost two years. It said that I was ineligible because I didn't make any money at my job. And I, I was like, wait a minute, I put in how much I made. He filed an appeal, then filed a class action lawsuit. The unemployment system is supposed to work for them, not prevent them from surviving. Tallahassee attorneys Marie Maddox and Gautier Kitchen are leading the fight. The lawsuit names the Department of Economic Opportunity, Governor Ron DeSantis, and the company that designed the software as defendants. It states plaintiffs have not been able to obtain benefits due to gross negligence and or negligence of defendants. The system design and or implementation is a failure. We're trying to get the people immediate relief. Um, that means that if they are entitled to benefits, that they receive the benefits um, in a timely way, um, that the waiting stops. DeSantis himself has faulted the system created in 2013 while Rick Scott was governor. It was designed with all these different things to, to basically fail, I think. The fact that the state paid $77 million for this thing, I mean, it's a jalopy. Since March, DEO has upgraded software capacity, beefed up call center staff, and processed 674,000 claims. But almost 40% have been deemed ineligible. We'd like for them to have a right to reapply and to know the reason why they were denied. The Maddox and Kitchen Law offices are hearing from thousands. I'm just a guy that wants to go back to work so I can support my family. The immediate goal, checks for those still waiting. The long-term goal, prevent this from happening again. I'm responsible for every action in my life. They need to be also. An emergency hearing initially scheduled for this week was pushed back, so the state has time to file a motion to dismiss. It's now set for Wednesday. While the state is expected to ask the judge to toss the case out, the plaintiff's attorneys plan to ask the judge to order that anyone due money is paid immediately. Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.